Hi guys, in this video we're going to take a look at the customer side experience for Zoho Assist. This is the only this is only one way of connecting. Um, it, it just happens to be the one that I use most often, either because we are working remotely on a new computer or working on a computer uh, in which our pre-installed connection tools aren't working. So uh, first we'll need to head over to join.zoho.com. Then we enter the session ID that was generated on the technician side. I already have one here. And then enter our name or nickname. And uh, it is required if you try to join the session, uh, it's gonna remind you that you're missing something. Um, while the customer is doing this, I usually explain that they'll be downloading a little file that is the connection tool. They'll see two or three prompts asking for permissions and they should click either yes or allow on all of those um, usually here people just get stuck and they're waiting for you to do something uh, so you know remind them you want to download the file so yes download the file run the file you'll get prompted for permissions from Windows um, it'll run the installation see here we can run the installer Okay, and then they have this prompt that says, you're about to join, would you like to join? Again, yes, join, and your session starts. And they'll see a little box down here saying waiting for connection. And that's it. From there, uh, you should be able to see the customer's computer. In this case, um, I'm connected to the same computer that I'm providing support for. I'm doing this on just one computer. So on my session is probably not going to work. Uh, but up to here, all they have to do is click join. And from there, you guys on the technician side will be able to see the computer. I'll see if I can get you an example. This is going to cause a little infinity loop here, but no problem. Uh -huh. Anyways, normally it'd be the customer's computer. <laughs> 